the Biscay model, designed by UCL's Institute for Innovation and Public Purpose in collaboration with the Biscay government, is an index tool composed of 28 contribution areas. These areas were developed to correspond to regional priorities and align with a selection of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. But how does the model work in practice? Firstly, a company reports their performance against the index annually. They are then given a score by a public certification agency. And based on that score, the tax authority decides on whether they will be awarded preferential tax treatment. Each contribution area is assessed and awarded more points as it moves from awareness to action to achievement. So, let's look at how this works at a high-tech manufacturing company called MyTech. Specifically, let's see how MyTech performed on two of the 28 measures in the areas of climate action and gender equality. In the area of climate action, companies are asked to report on the percentage of green energy they use. MyTech shows awareness by reporting this and shows action by increasing its use of solar power. However, it does not get points for achievement as it has not met its goal of 100% green energy. In the area of gender, companies report on the gender pay gap. MyTech shows awareness by reporting on the pay gap. It has also reduced the pay gap and achieved the 2030 goal. As such, MyTech receives the maximum points in this contribution area. Once the company's reporting on all 28 contribution areas has been assessed, MyTech is given a score. That means it qualifies for favourable tax treatment. Find out more by watching episode 4, Looking Forward, Greener, Fairer, More Inclusive, and read the full report by searching The Biscay Model.